Hi, um, my name is Lander Stone, and this is a video about the uh, Republic of Saleh, also known as the public Republic of Bu Regreg, and its origins within the uh, Morisco Honachero culture. Um, so uh, I am getting a lot of my resources from Hakim Bey's uh, Pirate Utopia study and uh, Bebe Baromi's study of Andalusian identity in Morocco. And so um, just like to start with a quick overview of how all this happened. Um, by 1492, the final expulsion of the Muslim ruler Boabdil um, so thus started the beginning of a fully Catholic Christian nation state in Spain. So uh, the old Christians of the regions had fewer issues with adjustments and were less prosecuted than the newly transi transitioned Mudahar Muslims in the region. And uh, these new Christians were known as the Moriscos, um, as we English speakers would call them uh, the Moors. So, um, but for the purpose of this video, I will be referring to them as Moriscos. So, um, so with the start of the forced conversion of Muslims into Christians, they were still considered to be largely, um, largely false converts. And uh, this occurred from 1492 to 1526. Um, but because of their status as being false converts, they were rejected by most of Spanish Catholic society. Um, from 1526 to 1565, after the initial um, conversions, problems only continued to rise, and eventually threats from the Ottoman Turks, um, like alongside the North African Berbers, um, ruptured the tenuous peace within the Morisco regions of Spain. And this is uh, the idea of threats from other Muslim societies um, due to the Morisco status as former Muslims. Former Muslims, I guess. Um, and then uh, after years of this poor relationship with the Moriscos, um, the State Council of 1609 so this is going to be um, for, uh, 45 years later. And uh, they decided to expel the Moriscos of Valencia. And by 1614, the expulsion of almost all um, Moriscos had officially ended, and almost all of them had been expelled. Um, so these Moriscos began new lives in their newfound homes. And this is where the story of the Republic of Bura Greg begins. Um, so Rabat and Saleh, these are the cities that they're known as today, um, were established at the mouth of the Bouregreg River in Morocco in 1624, and it's, most of these Moriscos were from the town of Horneceros in um, Extremadura, Spain. So um, it was originally a Corsair Republic of the Bouregreg, and it became the one of the origins of the Barbary Corsairs. Um, this republic also became a safe haven for exiles and pirates alike, and has been uh, called a pirate utopia of sorts and like a planned structure for Corsair society, as said by Hakim Bey. So, um, this society maintained a relatively fluid system of power. Um, with violent assassinations characterizing the overturn of political leaders um, pretty frequently, which, um, well, like by removing those heads of government, they um, prevented power from being attained for like a long period of time and prevented um, prevented rulers from creating a lot of structure. So. Um, this small nation was allowed to exist at first um, because of the payment of tithes to the, um, the Moroccan royalty or the Sultanate at the time. And so it was taken as 10% of whatever goods and products, including slaves, were captured from, the, um, from piracy. So, um, so these Barbary Corsairs engaged in piracy throughout North Africa and the Mediterranean, and sometimes going so far north as Iceland to engage in slave trade. So, um, but in 1627, the Moriscos decided that they wanted to be their own fully independent republic and stopped paying tithes to the Sultan. 
Um, and that became that then they thus became a officially repent, independent republic. Um, so the uh, the combined republic at this point was now made up of both Honosharos and Andalusians. Um, and a lot of the the like stolen goods came from Spanish ships because of their former uh, status as Spaniards and then thus being removed from the country. There were still some tensions there obviously. So, um, but with time, the, uh, the Republic of Budagreg was ended because the Sultan al-Rashid of Morocco, um, he's of the Albuite um, dynasty, which still holds power today. And so they reconquered Rabat and Saleh and reunited it with the rest of Morocco in 1668. Um, the piracy of the Barbary Coast continued well into the 18th century, and um, today there is still a strong sense of Moriscan identity within Rabat and Saleh, uh, mainly due to the separation that has occurred throughout history, um, starting with the um, taking of the old Medina in the beginning, and then them being separated from the other Moroccans in this old Medina throughout time. So um, it's neat because the separation of power um, with the port town and then uh, the separation in the Medina and has made this Moroccan identity unaffected for centuries within Morocco. And many will still claim this descendants today of Honesheros or Andalusians. And yes, so this is the story of the Honesheros of Extremadura. <laughs>